Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Ready to Die Fighting. I'm Chris, and today I've got my adventure backpack on. <laughs> um, this is a backpack that I take with us whenever we go hiking, occasionally biking, but mostly hiking. I usually carry a lighter um, backpack when I go biking, but <clears throat> let's see if you guys can see me. This is it. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's entirely too much. It's fine though, because the purpose of this bag is not necessarily a bug out bag. Although I definitely could use it as that. The purpose of this is basically for us to have fun when we go on hikes. And if there is an emergency, we'll be all right. So let me show you what's inside. Actually, I'll start with the outside. First is a walkie talkie. And keep in mind, this is for fun. So we kind of go on our hikes and it's, they are more educational. We try to identify tracks. We try to identify trees. We'll intentionally kind of maybe go off path and see if we can find our way back. We'll go across a sketchy area and practice using the ropes and um, rappel down. Like that's the idea, test all this stuff out learn new things, practice new things, just having fun. Um, we'll bring a little stove with us, have some snacks. We're uh, bringing Chala. Eerie's just way too hyper. Um, that dog is so... I can't even exaggerate how hyper she is. And she's 10 years old. You'd never know it. But Chala's much more calm, and so we're training her to go on walks with us. And we, she, she's doing amazing. She's even walking off leash. So this really isn't... Um, a survival bag, but it really, it really could be. Uh, so let me show you what I've got. The walkie-talkie, and then Nate carries one, and you know, he likes to walk up ahead or maybe sometimes be behind, and just for fun, we've got our code names, and we talk to each other, you know, like, okay, turn left up there, or you know what, I gotta go to the bathroom, so, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go behind this tree, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so that's kind of fun, just having that right there. Um, here is a flashlight, which comes in handy because light is a great tool to um, be able to just see, but it's also a good self-defense weapon. I also have some pepper spray. I mean, bear spray might be better, but we're not in bear country, so I don't worry about it. So this is a Saber Red paper pepper spray gel. Um, my thought is mostly for animals, but also those two-legged animals that might be hiding out there. So that's just what's on the straps on this side. This is something I just added, and this is a tourniquet. And um, this backpack has some straps on there with elastic. And you can see, it's black on black, so it might be hard to see. But um, I've got it just strapped around there and kind of under this clip. And so I'm hoping it'll stay nice and sturdy there. And... If it doesn't, oh well, I've got a lot of these. I hope I don't lose it. They're expensive, but we'll see. I think I'd rather keep it protected and not dirty, but we'll see what happens. I'll, I'll think about that. And then on the back, or top here, I've got the Garmin Enreach Mini. And I like it right up on top because that way it's in direct line with the satellites and hopefully getting good reception. On my hip. I've got a pouch that I bought from the Army Surplus. I believe it's a Condor something. <laughs> and we've also got some Ranger beads. I think that's it on the outside. And this bag I got from REI. I believe it is 25 liters. I believe. <laughs> and so uh, to me, liters usually roughly end up being pounds. And the last time I weighed this, it was right around that 25 pound mark, I think. And so this little pouch is basically my compass bag. Um, what stuff that I want to kind of keep ready. So binoculars, lighter, because why not? Compass, grid reader, and... Um, what do you call this thing? A wax pen. 
for drawing on the maps. And I think that's all that's in there. Uh, I heard this beep, so I accidentally turned it on. No big deal. Uh, let's see. Now I added this reflector on there just because um, sometimes I do use it as biking and I wanted it to be a bit more visible. And I also added this paracord. There's all these loops here. Um, and so that just made sense to me. And it's got this, these things. So I could add some hiking poles, which I may very well do. Uh, Nate especially likes walking with a stick and usually just grabs a stick off the ground. But I may end up getting some hiking uh, walking poles. And this is nice because when it is... A bit more chilly or if I suspect rain I'll just throw the uh, rain jacket on the outside here or whatever else so I usually bring maps of wherever we're going however we end up going a lot of times to the same couple parks over and over so I just keep that park just right here because we go there over and over again and this is just some paracord with a tent pole repair tube and this works great actually sorry this isn't paracord it's utility cord i think whatever the difference is um and so this works great for wrapping around a tree and stick this in there and then you can just hang the backpack off the ground and it just makes it you know it's going to help you keep it clean but it also makes it really nice to get inside the bag um, and i like using this you can use just a stick but i wanted to have a tent pole repair kit anyway and i mean i got this for our tents and even though there's no tent in here um i was like you know i'd rather have something handy and i'd also rather have something that had an additional use instead of just grabbing a stick and this is so light it's 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 silly um, and so, yeah, if I'm, if I decide to bring a tent and if it's damaged, I can use this to repair. I can use this to hang up my backpack. We've got a multi-use thing and extra cordage is always nice to have. That's it on this side. Although I, a lot of times I'll have a water bottle on this side as well. And then over here, a bunch of tent stakes. Cause again, you can make tent stakes, but why go through the hassle? I mean, these things are cheap enough. They're so lightweight, just stick them in there. And if it's raining and cold and all that, and you're trying to build a tent or a shelter of some sort, who wants to be bothered that was trying to carve up some tent stakes? Uh, and this is a Thermarest sit pad. You can use it inflated or deflated. You know, you just set it down like that on the ground, or um, it auto inflates, but it does take a while. So I usually just blow it up if I want to. Here is my uh, my little sheenus, <laughs> my little weenus thing. My uh, I did a video on this and a few other supplies as well as the um, little pooper scooper. So that's what's on the outside, and then in here in the top pouch. Hand sanitizer, multi-tool, a um, little bit of bug spray, a headlamp, um, a small little towel, knife sharpener, and some gun loop, just in case things get wet. Like I wouldn't, if I got rained on or something like that, I, I wouldn't want to have to wait until I got home. To clean and lubricate things and have them get all rusty. Um, hand warmers. These make such a huge difference. We we were out one day when it was colder than I thought actually and I was really glad that I had those. And this is a reusable Ziploc bag and um, it's nice thick plastic and uh, these are these are nice. If you see some of these guys pick them up because they are yeah it's just very they seem so far I've had this for a little while hasn't gotten a ton of use it's basically just been in here but I've been storing dog food in these things uh, so we take them fill them up with snacks go to the park or whatever better for the environment and they work well and I store the um, backup power and batteries and the cords I would need to recharge some stuff 
the um, yeah, various things. And that's it in there. Now the main pocket, first thing in there is um, first aid kit. So red to make it easy to identify. Actually, I guess that's orange, but whatever. And it's actually another one of those Ziploc bags. Um, and the only reason why I put it in here is just to give it more visibility. You know, I can just say, go grab the red bag. And I also like, if we are camp setting up like a camp, I like to hang it in a very central, easy to find place. And so I'll just like put that on a branch or something like that. And so that's just kind of a nice plus. I wasn't sure how much I trusted the Ziploc. I really didn't want this to bust open in the bag if I'm throwing it around and stuff. So just kind of an extra precaution. Uh, then I have some food. And I really like putting things in pouches. I know that it takes more room. You'll, you'll save space if you just kind of punch things in. You'll be able to fit more stuff. But when you do that, packing things back up is a bigger pain. Like, this is much, much easier if I need to get the one thing at the bottom or something like that. If I've got these pouches and having them color-coded and everything. It's just, I find it makes it easier and I'd rather sacrifice that space. And that's something I figured out when we were hiking in winter and I needed to get some things that we were using. And then there was snow on the ground, things were getting wet, and it was just like, ugh, this sucks. And so then um, I started putting everything in these pouches. And that works a lot better, because now, I mean, these are all waterproof. I can just take stuff out, chuck it to the ground, if, you know, whatever. Tell Nate to go get stuff, and he's definitely chucking it on the ground. And, uh, and it's just, I can get the thing I need, stuff it all back in, and it's pretty quick. So this is just food. There's some, um, uh, what is this called? Mountain House Meals. But then there's also, this is where I throw in a uh, water filter. This filters out lead as well as the other crap. And I think I got, there might be, actually no, it's just two Mountain House Meals. And um, the water filter and then like a bag to get the water and tubing, like that whole setup. And that's all that's in there because what we're doing is we're going on pretty short hikes. A lot of times we'll just grab some little snacks and put them in our pockets, like some uh, granola bar or whatever. And that's usually all we eat. But every now and then, you know, might want something a little more meatier. And just in case something does happen, we're stuck out there. We can have a nice warm meal. Uh, hammock. Purely luxury item. Um... I have made some modifications to it to make it a little bit more lightweight and compact and a little bit more multi-purpose. I will do a video on that later on, but um, so far I'm pretty happy with this hammock. I bought two of them, one for me and Nate, and so far it's nice, very enjoyable. I've been, I've been hanging out quite a bit. Here's my rope bag. Um, this is more rope than what seems reasonable to carry, but at the same time, it's fun. This is climbing rope and straps and things like that, some carabiners. And with this, we can rappel, we can do just fun stuff, fun learning adventure type stuff. And we can tra traverse some ground that um, Nate in particular might not be brave enough to do on his own. We haven't actually needed anything in this bag yet, and there's a good chance we never will. But I like having it, and I like knowing how to use it. And that, to me, is the key point of prepping, is not just have the stuff, know how to use it. And um, a big part of the reason why I carry this bag everywhere, I, I'm never going to need most of the stuff for most of our hikes. Um, but carrying it and using it, whether I need it or not, is teaching me what I actually use, what I never use, what, oh, you know what? Pack this stuff in little pouches. That makes my life easier. It's just, 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 just smart in my opinion. Uh, this is the hygiene bag. And so there's just like some wipes, some, um, I always like to bring some gold bond powder, um, just because there's some, I think, hand sanitizer. 
um, like the feminine stuff, uh, things like that. So probably won't need it, but you might. This is one pair of socks. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to put more in there, but I haven't even needed to use these yet. So I feel like socks are probably the only clothes that I would actually need. But if I needed to add, I've considered adding maybe like a t-shirt, um, like a lightweight t-shirt in there, just in case we do get really wet, that might help warm up. Um, uh, this container of water. And I like this. This is not insulated because I can heat this whole thing up on the stove if I wanted to. And I carry this in addition to a bottle of water on the outside because this one is for cooking and the other one is just for drinking. And then this is also for like emergency or whatever. If we're out there longer than I expect it to be, I've got an extra bottle of water. If the dogs need water, if, uh, you know, somebody gets hurt and we need to clean out the wound, this is just basically just extra water that we don't have to try to find. And that cup over there is uh, supposed to be with it, but I had to wash it because we actually used it last time. Um, and it just nestles in there just like that. And then this is a tarp. In addition to the tarp, I have, um, actually, maybe I don't even have to open it. <laughs> I've got a SOL um, bivy and a Mylar blanket, and then there's enough cordage in here uh, to set the tarp up, basically. And it's I like using reflective, so it's kind of a thin paracord or utility cord. Uh, it's reflective, and it's just a regular, I think it's a 10 by 10 square tarp. Um, I think it's made by Grand Trunk is who it is. And there we go. And then the last couple of things we got is this is to clean out the water filter. I've got a little pry bar and some bolt cutters <laughs> and a fire kit. Oh, and I forgot, a stove, a little uh, camping stove. You put it together. I can't remember if I did a video on this or not. Um, and it's just like these metal pieces that you fold and put together. It's a stick stove or twig stove is what it is. It uses more twigs and sticks and stuff like that than I thought to boil some water. Or maybe we, it also probably didn't help. Um, we were using it, it was kind of wet. Um, it was very, very cold. And um, so maybe that was why, maybe under better circumstances, it might not take as much, but yeah, we had to keep putting little twigs and leaves and whatever we could find. I mean, there was snow on the ground when we were using it, but Good to know it does work, A, and B, um, it works even in bad weather. So that's that's awesome. Just more sticks than planned. <laughs> uh, and the last thing I keep in here is um, some keys. There's a little pouch here. And I keep backup car and house key. Because I am an idiot, and it's entirely possible that one day I would lose my keys in the woods and I really don't want to get all the way back to the car and be stranded. So I just put that extra there. And uh, sometimes I'll even just lock the keys in the car that way I don't have to worry about losing them. Um, and then I can use that to get back in. And that is it. Uh, some of the stuff I'll do separate reviews on such as this Garmin InReach. This is something I just got, so I haven't really had a chance to test it. I've been carrying it around, but I haven't had a chance to really use it, so I can't talk about it too much. Um, I definitely would like to do a video on the that little stove. Um, and I thought there was one more thing I was going to talk about. Maybe not. <laughs> So that's it, and that's why I carry this bag. It doesn't have to be this bag, but whatever you do, test it out, try it, use it. That way you know. You know what you need, you know what works, you know that you can carry it. Um, I think probably five miles is probably the longest that we've gone so far, and I was fine. You know, my shoulders, I was starting to be able to feel it, but I could have gone much further with no issue. 
um, especially take a break, drink some water, get back going, and and it's fine. So it's it's, yeah, it's really good to know that, as opposed to not knowing, find out in an emergency. <laughs> That's not when you want to figure this stuff out. Um, oh, why do I carry the bolt cutters and pry bar? Definitely do not need these in the woods. Um, but this is just kind of carryover from when I was more concerned about a bug out situation. Um, and when I was working downtown and, and I worked downtown, but my car was parked like a few miles away and I had to take like a shuttle bus to get to